Who the fuck's this man? <laughs> no, still no 100% sure. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Darren Boyd. Your eyes do not deceive you, man. That is an Arab Ned on the stage before you. I'm up here to talk about my life experience, man. See, I get life experiences that you just don't get because I'm right in the middle of two cultures, man. On one side is a family of racist alcoholics and on the other side is a family of sober Muslims that get stoned for the winter, man. Yeah. I've got a lot of information that I've learned for going back and forth, although I am known to be coming for a storytelling culture, so take everything I say with a wee pinch of sand. <laughs> My life experience, the life experience that defined me, the life experience that was most important to me discovering who I am was meeting my Arab dad for the first time, right? I talk about this every day, all day, because it blew the Arab tits off me, man. <laughs> I was raised by my dad. He went back to Abu Dhabi when I was born. He wanted me to fit in, so he allowed me to be raised by a single Glaswegian mother. <laughs> done well, done well. He came to meet me in the UK, right? And I'd never met him in my life before. A lot of you out there know what I'm talking about, man. This is it. A lot of us in Glasgow grew up with their dads. But when I met mine, I had to phone my mum when I was in the airport and say, Mum, where the fuck am I looking for here? <laughs> I'd never met this guy before. I didn't have a clue. She gave me three adjectives, man. She described them as wee, baldy, and brown. <laughs> that was it. Middle of Birmingham Airport. Wee, baldy, and brown. I don't know if you've ever been to Birmingham. <laughs> it was a hard find. But I met him eventually, and we flew to Abu Dhabi, and I met my entire Arab family that I have never met before. Think about that in a life experience. Imagine your entire dad's side of the family, and imagine meeting them all at once, and then just a wee, just a wee twist on it, imagine they're all mental fucking Arabs. <laughs> I learned so much about my culture, man. First I got to meet my dad, my gran, my dad's wife, my dad's wife, my dad's wife. <laughs> It was a wonderful experience. I got to experience Minder, Muslim Tinder. <laughs> Not a joke, it's an app. I'm on it. The only difference is, when you're on Tinder, you're swiping for your hoe, which is fine. And when you're on Minder, you're swiping for a wife. So the stakes are so much higher. And you can only judge them by their eyes, so it's a really hard... <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> Probably one of my craziest life experiences, man. Although I am of Muslim descent. I drink a lot. I drink a lot, man. One time I was out in the tune. An old man approached me in a pub. He asked me a very straightforward question. He asked me, do you drink whiskey? Or are you a poof? Oh, yes. They were the only option, right? I rattled through hundreds of whiskeys with him to prove how masculine I was and found myself waking up underneath the sheriff court. No on the stairs, no in the alley, underneath by a security guard who shook me awake and asked, what the fuck are you doing here? I said, mate, I've got as much idea as you. He said, have you got court? I said, it's 4 a.m. on a Sunday. I don't think anybody's ever been that drunk that they've showed up to court at 4 a.m. on a Sunday. Disgusting! Ha <laughs> ha! 